So now we are going to start talking about microservices proper. So we are going to start with Eureka. What is Eureka? Eureka is a service discovery, uh, a service discovery service or a discovery server. What it means is that in, in big applications, you have so many microservices working together, maybe even up dozens of them or 50 or 100 or even more. And somebody is trying to access these services from the browser or from a client side, from mobile client or from web client. He needs to somehow find these services where they are. He doesn't need to know about all these services existing. He simply needs to make the request he wants and something routes it to the particular service that contains the, the information or the results he wants. Eureka is that, is that, is that discovery server. It's more like it's something in between you, uh, you, the client, and the services. So if you have this many services everywhere in the web or, or, or somewhere else, you have discovery server sitting between you in the client side and these services. So you don't need to know about the names of all these services or their, their, the names of these services or their URLs. You simply know the services exist and your resource is there somewhere. You don't know which service has this resource. You just make your request and then the discovery server checks your request and finds out that you are making a particular request and knows which microservice contains this. Your request. So I'm going to open uh, the page that contains. Well, I have explained this uh, before now. So um, it should be. Let me see. And also, I'd like to use this opportunity to remind you to subscribe to my channel. So if you subscribe, then you kind of motivate me to keep making these lessons. So it should be microservices. Let's see. I think I should have it. Let me see. Okay, yeah, Eureka. Okay. So basically, this is what we are talking about. So you as a client, you will be making a request from here on top of this place. So this is where the cli uh, the client application stays, and you make requests, the request comes to Eureka and it now routes to different microservices. So what happens is you actually make these microservices register with Eureka. So these microservices we are creating, these three microservices, they are going to be Eureka clients. And we are going to now, in this lesson, build a Eureka server. So we have Eureka server we are going to create. We've not done it. Once we create Eureka server, register the three microservices with this Eureka server, as you can see in this picture then we have built our kind of completed our microservices so let's go ahead to do it right now